You don't go to the toilet yet without some help. Hello, and, you and welcome to you the first go, annual first and worst. Head. My brother makes his own little stinky little monsters. We're going to have lots of entertainment. Some of it just absolutely god awful this evening. Call me on the phone, Mr. Phone. Won't you? So this is a, uh, an idea that I've had for a really long time called um, The First and the Worst, where you get um, hit songwriters to perform their very early, very bad songs. But don't believe a thing from the Lion King. The Lion King. The Lion King. This is the 2015 inaugural First and the Worst Crappy Award. But I'd rather be a stubborn mule than that jackass you got now. <laughs> the bad part is I thought this is a damn chart buster right here when I wrote it. <laughs> he, he always brings you flowers. He, he always comes right home. We're gonna hear a lot of bad songs and then we'll hear some good ones too because the writers will end the night singing some of their hits the greatest man i never knew just down the hall the music health alliance opened its doors about two years ago to bring access to health care to the music industry and in those two years we've secured over 5.5 million dollars in life-saving health care resources for the music industry so i'm pretty proud of that you're on the phone with your girlfriend she's upset she's going off about something that you said she doesn't get your humor like i do I think it was such a great cause and they asked me to come out and uh, I love everybody involved and I said absolutely I will be there. I do a lot more offshore fishing, I probably eat more drive through chicken. I'm excited to play with all these wonderful people and uh, feel pretty honored and uh, just looking forward to getting out there and uh, entertaining the crowd, it's going to be fun. No, it's a great cause. You know, it's, this one is very inclusive. It includes everyone who ever worked in the music business can get some help with their medical bills. I love that. Why they call it falling? Why they call it falling? Why they call it falling? I don't know. Gosh, I'm here for a lot of reasons. I love to entertain and I have friends who needed help raising money for a wonderful cause and it just so happens that this wonderful cause has helped a lot of my friends in this business um, when you are on times and we all have them, but some of us uh, have financial hardships and when you're sick you don't want to have to deal with that. So I'm here to hopefully make a little bit of a difference in somebody's life when they really need it the most. I may be a real bad boy. Now come on, man, help them out. Still sounds like a bunch of women, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's a great cause. I mean, the music help lines. And, and uh, it's a bunch of good people putting it together. How do you say no to good people and a good cause? I hope she takes her time. Because I don't mind waiting on her. Well, I have a bass player buddy of mine, Kevin Grant, who this uh, organization has helped tremendously. And when Sandy called me, I was originally supposed to be out of town, and then I found out I wasn't, so I called her back. And said, yeah, I'll do it. So, it's a great organization. Oh my gosh, I don't even think we could have asked for anything better. It was spectacular, it was meaningful, it was hysterical. It was Sandy Knox, exaggerated, which is hard to believe, but we're so grateful. It was amazing. The Music Health Alliance, thank you all very much. The first and the worst for the Music Health Alliance.